I got asked to go and play something at a friend's place. A friend's castle. A castle. <laughs> <laughs> in Italy. Yeah. In Italy. <laughs> and I couldn't think of anything to do, so I got Darren and Tom and Andy, the bass player, uh, Tom plays Quattro. And we played a couple of my dad's pieces, and it just... That's a four piece. <laughs> it, was, it, it worked. This music isn't blessed, it's like there's, there's, there's the music here, and the audience here, and the players here. And the music is in the middle, you know what I mean? It's, 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 it's as much the audience is, as it is the players, as it is anyone, because it's a folk yeah. bass. And every single different place that we played has had a different setting and the music has almost reacted to that. In some places, some settings, the music you know, suddenly comes across as being incredibly classical and incredibly austere. And then in others, like, like something like this, is, is so ad hoc and thrown together that you know, it's got a different vibrancy and almost, you know, almost a kind of sh uh, shambolic kind of you know, past, um, jig vibe to it. You know. um, Individually, the songs are almost like miniature soundtracks for different scenes and miniature soundtracks with different emotions rather than there being a kind of central personality or a central singer. So uh, ultimately, you know, the, the, the band, I, I kind of feel, should never be seen. You know? <laughs> <laughs> different stories and write different scenes for this, yeah. you know, and, and that will be the inspiration for new music rather than any kind of traditional way of assembling an album based upon the personalities of the band, yeah. you know, yeah. just appeals to me more, at which point I should actually just go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, this, this guy's been looking for me for ages. Get back in your boxes behind me. Just make sure he doesn't see me.